just seemed like a really good program uh, working with university students, engineering students, aerospace students. Jonathan DuBose drove from Sacramento to this dusty lake bed in Nevada. He's a hero for going so far out of his way to help students. At Santa Clara University, three young engineers, Karen, Lauren, and Francis, are working on a project for NASA. This is our optical system. It's a new device that'll be used for measuring air pollution. This is one big test for us. We actually get to go out into a, a desert or a place where it is very dusty. But dust is not the only reason they've come to Black Rock Desert. Jonathan is part of a group of high-power rocketeers from Northern California. So ready? Every year, they launch dozens of sophisticated science experiments for students from around the world. Your project's not beeping. Uh, I always envied, envied engineers and people who are good at math, because I wasn't. So I like hanging around with people like that. I, I, I learn a little bit here and there. We're going to put you up in this one. It's my more experienced vehicle. The rockets fly miles high over the lake bed. It's about 47 pounds. Jonathan will launch the experiment for the Santa Clara students. He's right. I see the vest. He's first shoot. First shoot. Yes. <laughs> there it is. One. Out of the blue, the science experiment descending safely under its own parachute. Hey, that feels good. Yeah. All right, good one. No damage at all, pretty much. The data will be used to develop this new device for studying air pollution. Thanks to a hero who's using his hobby to help a new generation of engineers get their careers off the ground.